UFC just announced, WEC UFC merger, you've been pulled out of your fight, and now you're fighting for the title. How does that sound? Sounds great, man. I've been looking, you know, this is what we're all getting there to do to get to the title, and, uh, you know, it's a weird time, but I feel like it's, you know, things happen for a reason. This is good. Well, I think the merge is good for everyone. You know, I think it's, it's kind of been unfair a little bit that the, the WC guys are getting paid less. It's just as high a caliber as all the UFC guys, you know, we should all be the same, you know. I know, I know how a lot of those WC guys feel too. It's like, oh yeah, you know, I fight the WC guys. Like, oh, is that like the UFC? The craziness of it all, but uh, once, once he was kind of over the initial shock, it's just, yeah, let's, uh, let's just kind of switch that style up a little bit. You know, we're the first 145. Featherweight uh, title fight in the UFC ever. So, I mean, that's history. history just making it there. It's just crazy to even think about. Like, it didn't hit me until, like, a little. No, I started thinking about I'm watching the UFC since I was a little kid. So, you know, I never think I'd be fighting for a UFC title. And I just, just kind of. I didn't even think I'd be fighting in these big shows. It just kind of came about. You know, I just take it as it comes. So, I tried to think too much into it and just picture the fight. Once you're off the beam for the most part. Bill Mahoney, you know, real unbelievable trainer, great mind for strategy and whatnot. You know what's funny is, I mean, him and his brother were our first ever children of students that didn't have a kids class back then, so they were like 13 and 12 and they jumped right into the adult, kid, adult day class. And just a little kid at the gym that would, sometimes he'd be gone for a couple of weeks, other times he'd be in. I remember saying something like, um, I had a kid who was like, I think he was fighting for a local belt. At 145, I said, you know, what about that, that Josh kid? Why don't we bring him in the train with him? I said, oh, no, Josh will run right through that kid. I was like, what? You know, this kid's a, supposed to be fighting, you know, he's a professional fighter, fighting for a local belt. And Josh is, what, like 15, 14 at the time, you know? And I said, are you serious? Like, he'd run right through, he would kill it, he would kill the guy's car. One of my fights in the me pretty boring, and that's just fighting me. My first fight, actually, because I was 17. Mm -hmm. My first fight, I said, he's old, my parents signed a waiver. Bill, can you assure me this kid's not gonna get hurt? Blah blah blah. It was like, I, I can I can assure you he's not gonna get hurt, but his opponent, you know, he's probably gonna knock him out in 10 seconds. And uh, sure enough, it was a 17 second knockout. You know. Yeah, I've known Josh since he was like 13 or 14. Cool. Okay. Um, you know, I, he changed the subject more funny. And I used to train him during the days, you know, a long time ago. Um, you know, so I was around when he was starting and things like that. So I trained him a good amount. And uh, yeah, you know, I, I told him, you know, all the, the you know, preparation stuff we've done that we thought was important. You know, I just try to give him confidence. Like, you know, when I was fighting Jens, you know, I had the idea that you know, I was down here with you know, all these like, UFC guys, you know, other fighters going over there. You know, like, that's not the case. You know, you may think he's a little bit higher, but anyone can be beat, you just gotta go out of it. A couple of more fights like that at the distance. Um, it was kind of a weird situation. He was just, he hadn't fought for a little while. He was like, I just want to fight, so he stepped up the weight class. And the guy who fought was like a, a brown belt in Jiu Jitsu or something. His perk was pretty good. And Josh was just kind of lay, laying back, you know, and uh, it did go to this. But it was good for him, you know, and kind of, he did prove he, he does have a little bit of control in there, you know. So. Things honestly, I like to, I'm basically quiet, like keep to myself, like train. Uh, I like fishing, you know, probably one of the biggest things, you know, like fishing. Um, just, I kind of just do a lot of crazy stuff. Just like, you know, I like outdoorsy stuff, you know. Um, so, camping, uh, hiking, just some things. Like, just outdoors stuff I've always liked to do. Um, I like taking my family, really big uh, into family. So, uh, it's basically it. Skateboard, hack the sack. really changed mentally. He doesn't really care about the fame. And about, he's never really said, I want to be a champ. He just, yeah, I know. do you want me to fight again? Okay. To this day, he just doesn't take it super serious. It's like, hey, you might be fighting the UFC for a belt. Oh, this is gonna be so cool, you know what I mean? You really think they'll, you think someone will give me a cage to put in my backyard? I can hang out. You know, he's just like, like a kid about it. So it's definitely, a, um, I think it's definitely a positive thing, you know, just because it's not. Um, I mean, obviously there's pressure. I'd be lying to say it wasn't pressure. You're in the back before a big WBC fight. You hit her up. We're yelling, let's go, baby, come on, you know. But, uh, a lot of times we're joking. Some of the guys that are in the back room with us are looking at us like, what's wrong with these guys? Because we're like, we try to keep it relaxed. He wants to have fun. He's young. And this is fun. Train and keep people out in the game and get paid for it. It's fun. He's not lying, he says. You know, he just goes out there. He likes to hurt the guy, you know, um, and make sure he knows he's in a fight and win, lose a draw. I mean, obviously, everybody wants to win, but I don't think he'd be too broken up about it if he was to you know, take a loss or something like that. Like, after this fight, just made everything, you know, just click. You know, everything just feels great now. I feel like I'm living the dream. I'm training every day. And it's just it's no injuries. I feel great. You know, no matter what, I'm just having fun with this right now.
boss is probably going to come out of his spectators the second he gets hit by a glancing blow. When even like an elder attempts something that misses, he's going to go crazy and wait for the knockout. Like, somebody's getting knocked out. Yeah, I could see some yeah. crouching tag and hidden dragon stuff going on. Um, I, I think that Josh is going to kind of come at him with everything he has, and you know, someone's going to be on the other Those guys both have the power to end the fight any time. I think they both have the submission to end the fight any time. Um, so yeah, I mean, if I had the bet, I'd say yeah, probably someone's going to get hurt quick. It's both of the both trying to end the fight. Both of the knockout is for sure. He was 14, I would say. Maybe this could have been cheap, imagine that. We were just being silly. I said, he's learn this from day one, and other people must be doing that, but you're not. Go to ACT, you have kids in a gi, you have kids who watch you, but you're not. They're going to lose. He's so well-rounded, Josh, that, you know, like I said, we put things in his head, and kind of train the specific things, and they seem to come out of the fights. But as far as, I mean, yeah, there's, there's not a lot of holes in Aldo's game. Yeah, honestly, I pray a lot. I do a lot of prayer, and I, I sit there and you know, I just get my mind right. You know, maybe read a couple of verses. Uh, I will just get my mind right, get myself you know, calm. You know, I'm not going out there in anger, and not going out there just competitive. You know, keep my heart rate low, and just go out there and try to end the fight. You think Josh has a good chance? I mean, it's all on paper. It's definitely, good, you know, looks to be the better fighter, but Josh is tough. Uh, he's, he's good everywhere. You know, everyone we kept proud of him. Like, oh, he's, you know, he's this kickboxer kid. You know, he's, he's got good jiu-jitsu. He's got good wrestling. He's good everywhere. Unbelievably strong. Good cardio. He's fast. He's an orthodox. You know, I'm gonna win this fight. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. And, you know, just he's always like that. So it's a, yeah, you know, obviously a tough fight. You trained him that way, and and that's the way he's gonna be. Win or lose, it will, it will be fighting tonight. Thank you for all the support from all the fans out there, my family, you know, social sports fighting. Um, everyone that's let me train for this camp, you know, Rules On Brothers. Um, you know, uh, Joan, I'll be getting along with this fight. It's going to be explosive for you to tell you that.